Okay, let me apologize in advance. I am getting over a cold and I am very congested, so forgive the uh, nasally uh, noise that is coming out of my mouth. So I'm going to show you how I rooted my ASUS transformer uh, for the third time yesterday following ASUS's latest update of Honeycomb. So I'll start from the, I'll do the whole process from beginning to end to see if our, you know, we're similar or not. Um, I'm already rooted now, but I'm going to end shut her down and boot into recovery mode to mimic the actual process. Uh, I've got the USB cable plugged in, not in the computer yet. So I'm just going to hold down the power button and just do a traditional shutdown, nothing fancy. While that's doing that, um, I've already burned the CD, the live CD, and I'm going to restart my computer. Uh, this is the live CD version 4 that is currently on the forums. So this thing is off, <clears throat> and this is rebooting. Well, that's rebooting. Let's go ahead and press the... There's no visual indicator of any sort. Um, I do recall seeing some light bleed when I did the route the first time, indicating that the screen was on and this was actually doing something. I didn't notice anything this time. So right now, I do believe that it's in uh, recovery mode. Laptop is just re finished rebooting. And is it booting up off the CD? Yeah, CD spinning up. This is what I get. Boot, I literally touch nothing. And I let it do its thing. So some people have been saying that they've been getting a prompt for a username and password. I'm not sure if this is what they're referring to. Um, if it's different, I have never seen it. This is what I've gotten every single time I've done the process to root my transformer. I'm going to go ahead and plug the uh, USB cable in to the computer. Right now, it's plugged in, and as you can see, Live CD is continuing to load. I've got a, uh, what do I got here? Uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T61 laptop. Everything works here with respect to graphics and images. As you can see, it's just asking me what confirmation of language I'd like to use the application in. I'm going to hit enter. Uh, here, key map. It's actually specifically asking you for the key map. Uh, you want to make sure you want to do the correct one. I am in the USA. Right here, hit enter. It continues the process and eventually we will boot into what I would call the live CD. Here you can see an FAQ of how you can get into uh, recovery mode. Uh, you can actually connect to the transformer and you can actually click. What I did was universal root for ASUS uh, double click. I get this. Uh, I'm told to disconnect my tablet from the USB and turn it off. If it's not, press and hold the up button for five seconds. I've already done that. That was the moving into recovery or uh, uh, APX mode. So let's hit enter and let's see if the, I did it correctly. <clears throat> it's sending a file. This thing actually did light up. Um, I apologize for the lack of focus, but the ASUS says entering NV flash recovery mode. Uh, chip user ID, and then it says phone update success twice with twice with lots of exclamation points. Back over here, it's asking me if I want to install Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, I'm going to say no. I don't have any need to update, uh, at least for now, to different ROM or anything like that. So I'm totally cool with a stock OS. I just wanted the ability to root so I can run AdBlock. And here, um, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. I'm going to do that here. It's still plugged in the computer. Holding it down right now. Okay. Let's see. Your tablet should reboot. Yep. Okay. So when Android is fully loaded, I'm going to go to Settings, Applications, Development, and tick the USB debugging box. Uh, at the end of the process, you'll see the little B in the bottom corner and then I'm gonna hit enter and this is after the transformer has booted back so I'm waiting for it to boot up right now as a reminder this thing has already been rooted uh, I don't want you to think I'm cheating I want you guys to know it's already been rooted but I'm just rerouting it to show you guys 
how the process worked for me. I apologize if this is not more entertaining, but we just have to wait here. Back over here, you can see some of the other options down here. You've got a terminal window, so you can hit up, you know, some Linux commands, Unix commands. You've got a pseudo start menu here that lets you, you know, kill the program, reboot it, all sorts of stuff here. Speaker audio control. This is really applicable if you're actually clicking the My Documents folder here. You would be able to access the items located here on the transformer itself. This thing is still rebooting, so in here. Looks like we've got some more light. And she's back on. Still loading. And as you can see from the little uh, B icon right there. I apologize again for the lack of focus, but uh, let's ignore that. Uh, the little indicator right there that has a B on means I'm in uh, debug mode. So I'm going to swing back over here. Uh, it's asking me to hit enter when I've already put the process in place and I hit enter. Daemon not running, remount succeeded, uh, daemon started, and it looks like it transferred some data. Transformer rebooted without me touching it. Back over here, the text reads, done. Your tablet is now rooted. You can find a backup of your old boot and recovery images in slash home slash tux slash universal slash the file name itself. It says here, if you think you will need them, move them to the local disk or USB drive. Otherwise, they will be lost when you reboot. Press enter to exit. And I think that's it. Yeah.